What we have here is a program that gets character from the keyboard and puts it on our screen down here. Now if we take a look over here, this is an EPUB version of our textbook as a fixed layout. And what I did to get here was I clicked on the ASCII link up here and it gave this page here. Now this is our ASCII chart that goes from 0 to 127 decimal. Now what I'm going to do over here is I'm going to choose the uppercase letter A. Now normally we'd say 41 hex, but we're going to use 65 decimal. So when I click on this screen here, if I hold down the ALT and press 65 and keep down the ALT key when I release it, I get my capital letter A. Now let's take a look at going to the next page of our EPUB here, and this is the alternate character set. So if I want to get this funny upside down looking T here, I can do ALT 208. So let's do that. ALT 208. When I release it, I get exactly that character. So you can use the ALT key, but you have to use a keypad. You cannot use the keys that are on the upper row of your PC keyboard to do this. If you want to format up the output for the switches to have a fancy box around it, you can do that, but Unfortunately, you can't use printf the way you'd expect. If you say printf and then inside the quotes you put alt 201, it'll give you this little symbol. Alt 205 will give you this one in the middle. And alt 187 will give you exactly what you have on the top here. But it will give you invalid multi-character sequence if you try using a printf in that fashion. Some systems it'll work, but unfortunately in embed it won't. So you have to do put char 201, put char 205, put char 187 and it will give you the equivalent over here of this part of the box and the same for these so unfortunately that won't work but it's kind of nice to know that you can indeed using put char do the equivalent of those fancy boxes